In the beginning, there was nothing except the Lord. He is there from the beginning, where no one can reach. He created his throne first. The throne which is the ceiling of all created things, including everything that lies beneath the earth and all that exists between it and the throne. It is who has created the heavens and the earth in six days, and his throne was over the water. While his throne was over the water, the Lord ordained the measures of the creation 50,000 years before he created the heavens and the earth. Some people asked Muhammad Salalahu Alaihi Wasallam that what is the first creation of the Lord? He said, First of all, there was nothing but the Lord. Then he created his throne. His throne was over the water. The throne was created from a red ruby and distance between its two sides would take 50,000 years to traverse. The throne has legs, which are borne by the angels, and that he rose over the throne really in a manner that suits his majesty. Then he created the first thing for the creations. That was his pen. Then he said to it write and in that very hour all that was occur was written up to the day of resurrection. Then he wrote everything in the record, and he created the heavens and the earth. The Lord Almighty is the creator of all things, and he is over all things, the disposer of affairs. Through him all things were made, without him nothing was made that has been made. The angels and the spirits ascend to him in a day, the extent of which is fifty thousand years that the distance between the throne and seventh earth would take 50,000 years to traverse, and its breadth is also 50,000 years. Those angels who bear the throne of the God, and those around it glorify the praises of their one, and only Lord and believe in him, and ask for forgiveness for those who believe. For those who say, none has the right to be worshipped except the Lord, the greatest, the most forbearing, None has the right to be worshipped except the Lord, the Lord of the noble throne. None has the right to be worshipped except the Lord, the Lord of the heavens and the earth, the Lord of the noble throne. The Lord who didn't born nor can die, no one can give birth to him, nor even anyone can harm him. He is our creator, your, mine, those prophets, those mothers of prophets, all of us, this earth those plants, those mountains, those stars, the entire galaxy and everything in it. He's our Lord, the Almighty. He's watching us now. He's listening this. He knows what is in your heart. What is going on? What are you thinking? He knows everything from the beginning and what after your death. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, one of the angels of the Almighty Lord, who bears the throne of the God, that the distance between his earlobe and his shoulder is journey of 700 years. The distance is like that of a bird flying for 700 years. And his course he extends over the heavens and the earth, and he feels no fatigue in guarding and preserving them, and he is the most high, the most great. The course he is above us, the all creation, and the throne is above the course he. The course he is the footstool of the Lord, and the throne is the seat which is borne by the angels and the throne is biggest creation of the God. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, The Corsi is relation to the throne, is no more than a ring of iron thrown into an open desert on earth. The Corsi is the footstool, and no one is able to properly estimate the throne except Lord, the Almighty, the All-Powerful, and no one can explain the size of the Lord his looks, his voice, etc. Not even can imagine. Well, please come back to him, pray to him, do good deeds before time's up. Well, some people believe it is written in our hands and believe some people can read it. 
But this is a big mistake. No one knows what is written by God. And do not think God is everywhere or that he is in our hearts. That is a wrong belief. This is a huge mistake. He is over the throne. His power and knowledge is everywhere. But he doesn't come himself in the earth. At least he comes down to the lowest heaven every last hour of night. And say, who is calling upon me that I may answer him? Who is asking something from me that I may give him? Who is seeking my forgiveness that I may forgive him? So repent. Ask for forgiveness from the Lord. Do not go towards the false gods and false people. Come to the true path. Do good deeds. He will forgive you. Muhammad Salalah who alaihi was salam said, The Lord created mercy in 100 parts, and he retained with him 99 parts, and he has sent down to the earth just one part of mercy. And because of this just one part, there is mutual love among the all creation of the earth. That's why the animal lifts up its hoof from its young one, fearing that it might harm it. <laughs> Rahman, Rahman, Saidni, Rahman, Ishrah Sadri Quran, Imla Kalbi Quran, Wasli Hayati Quran, Rahman, Ya Rahman, Bamagini, Ya Rahman, Usla Kaima, Ya Dushu. Bonnie, my, you're sitting now, Jesus.